Beware, this video is one massive spoiler. What's happening guys? Movieweb.com, a website which gave us some exclusive set pictures of Green Goblin's chamber and a glider, as well as a rumor regarding Green Goblin having a green spiked hair, brings us yet another insane rumor, which, according to them, once again comes from a trustful source. According to Movieweb.com, Dandy Han, Harry Osborn, will be actually the real Green Goblin in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Surprise, motherfucker! Are you still listening? Good. Apparently it comes from their trustful source who was on the set during the final filming day and he confirmed that the Han will be the real Goblin. Harry being the Green Goblin isn't something new, frankly. We've seen the similar setup, sort of like a Harry was the Goblin at some point in the spectacular Spider-Man TV series. And we all know that in the comics he was the Green Goblin later on after Norman Osborn's death and by the end he actually turned out to be a good guy by saving Peter and himself. Now they revealed that the final battle will take place at Asgarp's power plant. Electra calls the Asgarp power plant home in this sequel and it serves as the source of his great electrically charged superpowers. This will be the site of Gwen's undoing. But as we've reported in the past, what looks like to be iconic death as seen in the comic book will actually be a fake out, with her actual demis coming later in the series. The film will also contain a post credit stinger known as the mini-movie, which will lead directly into The Amazing Spider-Man 3. It is not clear at this time who will be included in this scene or what it will consist of. First of all, let's get this straight. A couple of months ago Jamie Fox told us that we should keep an eye on Dan DeHaan's character, as if he might be some kind of villain after all. Plus a tweet from Dan DeHaan himself where he mentioned that he eats like a rabbit with a really sharp teeth and cannibalistic sensibilities. Now this whole thing sort of supports this rumor. As for Gwen's death, which will be actually faked out and she will die later in the series, frankly this is quite disappointing. So is this whole rumor. Personally, I can see how they based this rumor on what Jamie said before, then the Hans tweet, and the obvious fact that Oscarp will be featured a lot in the future films, as Mark Webb told us in one of his interviews. Personally, I'm getting tired of these rumors, since all of them seem to be really fake. You know, sometimes I wish I could visit the office of such websites, which make these fake rumors and tell them you boys ready for your cock meat sandwich? Uh, no. Well, you better get hungry real fast, because I got a whole lot of sandwich waiting for you. Yeah! Holy shit! All right, let's get going. It's up to you to believe it or not. Personally, I leave it just like that. While it looks like a quite an interesting idea, the fact about Harry Osborn being the real Green Goblin might piss off a lot of fans. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm off for now.